Could you actually learn new things? When I was a kid, the adage, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, was like, everyone just believed it. But because of that, I found myself putting myself in smaller and smaller rooms because, and this is gonna be the most important thing that I say today, of this I assure you. What you build your self-esteem around matters. And whether you realize it or not, each and every one of you has something that sits at the core of how you feel about yourself. And from that, your identity, your sense of self-worth, your self-esteem, it is all built around that thing. And I will tell you the trap that most people fall into, that I certainly fell into, that led me into hiding in bed for five hours at a time every morning, was that I valued myself for being smart, for being right, for being good, for being worthy, all incredibly fragile traits. And I kept encountering people who were smarter than I was, who were right more than I was. And it made me feel badly about myself. Now, if there's anything you know, you know it's a human's move towards the things that make them feel good and they move away from the things that make them feel bad. So you can understand that is a terrible strategy to have this very fragile thing that holds my entire sense of identity and self-worth. I'm smart. I meet somebody smarter than me and I don't think, what can I learn? Because I think an old dog can't learn new tricks. This isn't about pushing myself and changing my mind the way that I can change my body. This is about fucking survival, emotional survival, and getting into the psychological immune system. The psychological immune system is powerful, and they found this freaks me out, but you're gonna love it. The more delusional a person is, the happier they are. <laughs> that shit is real. And we all have that one crazy friend who you're like, damn, but they look like they're having a great time. So I'm not saying that it's not powerful. I'm just saying it's not going to help you live an extraordinary life. Why? Because if you want to do something extraordinary, you have one job, leave your fellow humans in awe. Now, when you think about, holy shit, my job as a parent, as an entrepreneur, as an athlete, as a speaker, as a whatever you want to be, You've got to get so good at that thing that when people see you do it, you make them experience the most potent human emotion, and that is awe. To get that good is a terrifying journey of self-discovery and confronting who you really are because you cannot make change until you acknowledge where you're actually at. Now, why? Because it's not some new age woo thing. It is for real. Like, if you understand where you're weak, then you know where to spend your time building skills. To me, the gap between where you are now and where you want to go is a gap of skill set. And once I realized that, and I made the choice to believe that this whole brain plasticity thing was real, even though it was being hotly debated, then I could shift my self-esteem from being smart, right, good, worthy, to being that of the learner. The learner is the only identity that I have ever found that is anti-fragile. As Nassim Taleb says, things that are robust, that are strong, that are tough, that can take just a lot of abuse before they break. They are still ultimately defined by their breaking point. Something that is anti-fragile, on the other hand, is something that the more you attack it, the more it is pounded on, the stronger it gets. Now imagine being able to build a belief system, the thing that you build your self-esteem around, if all of that were tied to something that is truly anti-fragile, that the more somebody comes after it, the more robust it becomes. Being a learner is that answer. Think about it. If somebody is gonna come after you and they wanna hurt your feelings, there is one thing every time they will reach for. That is something that is true. When people try to hurt you, they go for the most real thing and they fucking jab you right in your heart because they know it's gonna hurt because it's real, man. And that's mean for sure, and it hurts for sure. But if you think of it like this, 
When somebody's throwing a rock at you with the intention of hurting you, you can put your defenses up, you will deflect that rock, never to be seen again, or you can lower your defenses, let it hit you in the face, knowing that it will hurt, but also knowing now at your feet is not a rock, it's a lump of gold. Because they've given you an insight into where you are weak. Now, once you know where you are weak, you can begin to build yourself. And that is my thesis on life. You get to build yourself in any direction you want, in any way, to become anything you want. There will be an extraordinary price to pay, but you can go in any direction.